World Monuments Fund is proud to honor Ruthen N. Tata and the Tata family with our 23rd annual Hadrian Award. The Hadrian Award is presented each year to those who have made an exceptional commitment to philanthropy and conserving our world's heritage. Ruthen Tata was born into an illustrious family with a strong dedication to philanthropy. The Tata Trusts were established in 1868 by Mr. Tata's great-great-grandfather, a visionary entrepreneur who helped shape modern India. The first charitable trusts were established by uh, Mr. Jamsadji Tata. They focused basically on education, on medical research and assistance, and in broad terms, alleviation of poverty and creation of enlightenment. Avid art collectors and patrons, the family's treasures eventually became the basis of the Prince of Wales Museum in Mumbai, today called the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Vastu Sangrale. Culture was very much a part of the family tradition I grew up in a house that was uh, built by my grandfather, uh, full, of, full of culture and, and art. And so it's been a part of uh, the family. Today, the Tata Trusts are a force for positive change, focusing on rural livelihoods, health, education, civil society and governance, and India's artistic and cultural heritage. At the Taj Mahal, World Monuments Fund worked with the Tata Group and the Archaeological Survey of India to aid conservation efforts at this legendary monument to love. An international team conducted a topographical survey and developed a management plan for improved stewardship of the site. A geographic information system database was implemented to guide future conservation as well as site and visitor management, the first application of this technology in India. Two perimeter walls were restored and the Fatibad Gate courtyard was conserved and prepared for a visitor center. At the World Heritage Site of Humayun's tomb in Delhi, the Sir Dorabji Tata Trust co-funded a project that integrates conservation with urban and environmental development objectives. The Tata Group's commitment to architectural conservation and sustainable tourism is manifested on the business side through their exquisitely restored historic palace hotels. Our hotels, uh, for example, have incorporated uh, various Maharaja's palaces, which we have tried to recreate in the manner in which they were designed and, and refurbish them and, and decorate them as they used to be. The intention is that we could share the splendor of days gone by that the Maharaja's had of, of that era of India with tourists rather than a a modern hotel that could be anywhere in the world. The Tata Trusts help ensure that India's rich heritage is preserved for the benefit of future generations. There has been a view that we should give back to the people what we have taken, and this was embodied in, in Jamsaji and his sons. And it really is that we were trustees of the of the shareholders and trustees of the nation. And that it was not for personal gain, we were not for increasing our wealth, but spreading that wealth uh, amongst the people. In presenting this year's Hadrian Award to Ruthen Tata, World Monuments Fund celebrates a family who created an extraordinary legacy by extending the family patriarch's vision into the 21st century, Ratan Tata has created a philanthropic model for the global community.